All right, surfboard's about as good as it's gonna get. Ten and seconds. And shoot. I'll let you know when I get to the package. Stand by C. That's not to you, Wade. You're gonna start it straight up nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. I got a countdown here for CW here. Honored with a All right, stand by in ten seconds. Best series of reports on politics and five, four, three, two, and the one. Roll team. Man of Sound. Sound by two, Senate Board C in the name. Roll C and is off. Q and anime. Good to have you with us here at 9 o'clock on this election night. I'm Scott Thompson. And anime out. Ready, A. Roll A. problem with a handful of Take voting machines for some polls in next. Tulsa County to stay open an hour later tonight. The good news, the election board says as many as 68% of registered Stand voters two. in the county showed up to cast a ballot. White anime. On the line tonight was a voice for Democrats. Stand by to read. Congressional delegation. Read. The White House Stand in control by. of the country for the next four read. years. Read. 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 Would last for another two decades. Anime but take. we begin tonight with the 750 Ready, million 44. dollar decision in Tulsa County known as Vision 2. This proposal was broken into take. two parts, and tonight Tulsa County voters we'll have rejected to race 45. both of them. The first proposition concerned economic development. The no votes winning by 56 by. percent to 44 percent, with 80 percent of anime. the precincts in. Proposition two were these little uh, quality of life okay. projects at each town in Tulsa we'll County. Ten next. Ten cities in Tulsa County could have uh, spent Stand this money scene. on, and that has also gone down to defeat tonight. And News on 6 reporter Amber Rossi. Bryan has reaction White. for us. Stand by Amber Sound. And roll A. Is all sound. And We're at the Vision anime. 2 watch party where it's been somewhat of a disappointing anime evening now. so far. This Got is Karen Keith at 16. This runs a minute. Commissioners. One of the biggest, most 34 visible standard. Of, of this. For you, what is the... Ready um, key. Uh, the most disappointing part of what you've seen so far. Well, I obviously want to see water in the river. I think Adam it's out. That's your last key. We are adding a 4.1. 4.1 one. is going to go and as follows. So one straight on Scott with a little zoom. We don't have Sot the one. A. Four point one. One. Zoom on Scott. Sot the one. A. Situation. Our levees need to be repaired. FEMA's put us on notice a year from now that the levees could be decertified. So it's a huge issue, uh, and we asked for ten. Right million, now, at this point, we're going to script uh, it. Run 21 on that so live shot. That we'll eke it out Coming tonight, up on uh, page but, five. Um, you know, it's, we'll have to try to figure something else out. Around 910, we will be going to run 22, like but it's going to be on the fly. Are, are, are nice, but not critical. The juvenile justice center, those levees, that's really uh, that's bread critical. and butter things. So, we, it is so it's 14 out. And, you know, we also, for the county, uh, had road and bridge money in there that's also crucial to um, all of our neighboring Travis is 14 partners out. and the, the suburban communities yeah. as well as the city of Tulsa. All right, page 14 is dead. Page 14 uh, is dead. Project. So, you know, uh, it was a pretty important package, uh, and I'm really disappointed Proposition 2 isn't looking better at this point. All right, one and in next. Thank Ready, one. 4.1. We'll continue to watch the numbers here from the Vision 2 Watch Party. For now, Emory Bryan, News on Start 6. Start Thank you. Thank you, Emory. And opponents Ready, of Vision 2 watched with. together at Tally's Cafe in Tulsa as the results came in, and the organizers were pretty enthusiastic that it went down to defeat. Roll I sound take and anime. Thrilled, of course, that, that we were able to... Anime on the 16th, she'll get a mic. It's a David and Goliath story. We were definitely David, and they were Goliath. And Step when we consider the amount of money that they His had mic. to spend and, and the people that they had behind their project. Mike Q, step by Biz 3 for race 2. Vision 2. They say the proposal was too rushed and its promises were too vague. White. Folks in the heart of Green Country All right, we're are choosing out three a new and 21 for the tonight. double the next. Three and 21 for the double since from page 5. E. The man who defeated him in the double. primary will now go on to Washington, Jim Bridenstine. Right now with 64% of the precincts in, he has 62% of the vote. News on 6 anchor Craig Day joins us ready, live 21 now from Bridenstine's watch party and we just heard from the congressman-elect. And take Adam A. Yeah, that's right, Terry Scott. Uh, his supporters are very Anime. excited. Jim Bridenstine just addressed All right, it's all him from here. here. He'll sig out. We'll go to Biz Street next for page uh, six. his volunteers that they invested in not only his campaign, but in the future of the United States. He says uh, our country is in peril. He told his supporters that from people who don't speak for us. And today, Oklahomans voted for real conservative leadership. Now, this district has not sent a Democrat to Washington since the 40s, and or only one hey, Democrat Lord. to Washington uh, since the 40s. And so that held true during no, this general election. No, I don't know when we're going to Lori. He says some of his when major goals are to repeal the oppressive measures forced on small businesses okay. and to repeal the government. And he's out of Rev 22, of right? But okay. Obviously, everyone here at this watch party we very excited. We may be pitching the Rev 22 here. Scott, 
All right, Still Greg, my best streak. White. Let's take a look at the uh, board for District All right, 2. This one is 1 20 Oklahoma, for your double. And this returns to the Republican column after uh, Dan Bourne gives up the seat to Democrat, double. the only current Democrat in the delegation. Mark Wayne Mullen with a pretty big win tonight, 57% of the vote. And Lacey take, Lowry has been anime. in his uh, campaign Ready, 20 party all night long over in Muskogee. Lacey? And take Anna McHugh. Well, Scott, I'm going to talk really Great. softly because right now Mark Wayne Mullen is thanking his supporters and right, giving we'll his run acceptance out, uh, speech. Let's listen to him for just Zoom a moment. Next. And get moving in the same way. Just think if just the churches stood up. We'll be at the page seven. If just the churches stood up. If just the churches stood up, we would already have this thing taken back. It's not come out to the two shot. To sit there and play. All right, we're gonna come out to the two shot, and then we're gonna go to round twenty-two with. Because remember, everybody in this room would take a bullet for your kids and your grandkids, and what we're doing is we're providing a future for our kids. And uh, our grandkids. We'll come out to two and go straight pitch to twenty-two. And great oh, grandkids. Straight pitch to us, ten by twenty-two. I'm not there yet. My mom and dad is though. <laughs> all right, make up your. All right, stand by two. Where's when, my where do you want me to go? And my mom. There's dad. Where's mom at? Come on up here, dad. So what he's talking about right now oh. is that this okay. vote today, tonight, was really for people like his children, his family, our families. And he's saying the voters of District 2 are fed up just like he was, which is why he ran in the first place. And for the first time since 2001, this uh, congressional seat will be Ready in two. Republican hands. He says he is humbled. He wants to thank all of his supporters. And he says now the road truly begins because he wants to make true changes in Washington. We'll have more coming Ready up at two. 10 o'clock for now live in Muskogee. Lacey Lowry, News on 6 tonight. Take you. Thanks Stand by Rem 22. And let's with. listen in now back in District 1 to Democrat John Olson's concession and speech. And that not enough will have been done. That not enough will have all right. changed. And now the Where are we going are after higher. this? We've got a lot of stuff Go back coming out up in two? the next few months. Okay, we'll for be back out too for page seven. Over the last ten months, one on scripted. Uh, Greg, you got your headset on. Giving me a lot of hope. Uh, the people I've met, the Democrats, the Independents, and the Republicans together, want Washington to stop yelling at each other and get to work to solve our nation's okay. problems. Whoever you voted uh, two, you for today, the zoom on this. Go ahead, uh, back up. and even if you didn't vote, starting tomorrow, I want you to hold those elected into Congress to that standard. I want the people. I want the people that are our nation's leaders to know that we are watching, watching them and that we expect them to get to Step work. Step by two. Now, I'm asking another thing. Don't make today be the last time that you think about All right, bring my, my the last time under. you think about elections for another two okay. years. Yeah, bring anger, Mike Thunder. Stand by two. Right now over at and ballroom in downtown Tulsa. Tulsa. He lost pretty big tonight in the Greatest first congressional district. He's the for page eight. Mm -hmm. Well, Oklahoma's Great also seven. decided Jake. six state questions tonight. It was a long ballot facing people around the state. Stand by. State question and 758 read. would limit property tax increases to 3% instead of the current 5. And uh, Oklahomans went for that in a big way tonight, 68%. State question already. 759 bans affirmative action in state programs in three areas, employment, education, Race and contracting. Next. Stand by. And once again, it's winning big, 56% of the precincts animate. in. The yeses are up 60% to 40%. State question 762, Governor Race Fallon will have next. some free time on her hands because she won't be involved in any more pardon and parole process for uh, nonviolent offenders. Oklahoma prove that tonight pretty big as well. State question 764. This is with 56 six percent of the precincts next. reporting. It authorizes Stand Water by. Resources Board to issue bonds Anime. to raise some money. So far that's winning 56 to 44 percent. The next state question is 765. That uh, abolishes Stand the by. commission, the Oklahoma Department of Human Services Commission, and gives more authority to the governor Anime. and the legislature. That is also passing tonight by a rather big margin, 59 percent. Yes, the voters were in a yes All mode right, we'll on these state questions. All right, we'll be on the two for the T's next. Page 15, two for the T's.
Tower is dead. Just B O N A only. Taxation from property, and that Ready is two. winning even bigger. Sixty-four percent to thirty-six percent. And take the well, music star pull. Roll A. He is off. On the break. Step by your break. The White House says President Obama and Mitt Romney wait for word on who will lead the country for the next four years. And fade this. Roll your break. If Holy, all right. Home, what What's up now? Different degree options. Ten TCC's seconds, stand by C in their minds. Great graduates and working professionals. TCC. In four, three, two, one. Roll C. Paid up QM. Stand by this three. We're still not clear who's heading to the White Fight, House anime. tonight. No, Ready your double, no two and ten. That Republican challenger Mitt Romney won and dissolved, in big way in Oklahoma. Our Ready Dan Mueller is tracking things for us tonight. Danner, how how are those swing states looking and right now? And take anime. Uh, good evening to you guys. Of course, 270 you electoral votes are needed Read. to become president elect. We'll right now, hot. Mitt Romney, Governor two Romney two. has about 173 electoral votes to uh, President Obama's 157. Now, as for those swing states, two of the major ones they have not been called. yet. Yet, but CBS News bit. is projecting that President Obama will take both Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, two of the major swing states. Now, they are not ready to project this yet, but they, CBS News is saying that uh, they are leaning towards giving Ohio and the state of Nevada to President Obama. Again, those have not been projected or called. They're just saying, CBS News is saying that they are leaning that way. As for the swing state of Florida, that right now is neck and neck. Each time the um, results are updated, it comes 50-50, 50 for President Obama, and of course, 50 for Governor Mitt Romney. Ready of course, to. we will continue to monitor this. CBS News uh, has the latest, of course, and we will have the latest as well coming up tonight on News on 6 uh, at 10. Reporting live, Dan Buley, News on 6 tonight. Thank you. Ready right, business thank you, for Dan. race and four. And of course, we have some other congressional and races around the state. Let's take a look at those in race District five 3. Next. Frank Lucas, the incumbent, Stand by. a big winner. This district takes up a big chunk of Oklahoma, and Frank Lucas will be back in Anime. Washington representing it. No surprises really tonight. Over in uh, District 4, this would be Tom Cole, the incumbent Republican, six winning Stand by. 69% Anime. of the vote over Donna Bebo tonight. In District 5, that's the Oklahoma City area, yes. and once again, the incumbent, a big winner, James Langford with 66% uh, of the vote. You might Ready notice two. there, though, however, only 14% of the precincts are in, but the incumbent out to a big lead. And so the entire congressional and delegation in Oklahoma is Republican right now. Some Tulsans also decided who will All represent right. them on the Stand city council. Here. We wanted to bring Jesus you those results, next of course, tonight tower. from two Tulsa City Council races. But as of right now, 914, the Tulsa County Election Board is reporting zero precincts. We mm -hmm. have heard from more than half a dozen precincts about Semi problems music, they had with machines. We do have a crew at the election board and we'll try to have more information at 10 o'clock over on channel six and in the meantime music. still ahead a nice little Star warm up on the Osage Casino anime. Skycam network the so the break. Drops out. Mike tells us about the cooler temperatures and a good chance for some much needed rain we'll be right back fade this for your break well, the best denim selection in Oklahoma. All right. Home.com for availability. Step by C in five see you soon four, at the all new three, FFO two, home. the home one. of the deal hunter we'll see out of sound stand by four with is off cue. Anime. Well, it was a quiet weather day for heading to the polls all across Animate eastern out. Oklahoma. Temperatures right, were in a seasonable here, range. Sixties to the seventies to our west, even lower eighties for far southwestern Oklahoma. So overall, a very pleasant day across Generic the state. Generic teens now, we're not on twenty eight. We're going to do that on the three radar. shot. We're going to do that on the three the shot north there. On two for twenty eight. But that was of little consequence to our weather outside of bringing a few clouds to our east. And what's going on out there? Well, we do have another nor'easter in the makings got? right now across the Carolina is bringing right, the rainfall up? there and this is going to pose a big threat I conjecture it'll be very uh, widespread of an issue from the Delaware coastline all the way up into New York City the same places that got hit by Sandy so not a scene that they want to be playing out as early as tomorrow morning right now we are quiet dealing with a very mild air mass that will be settling on into our region we'll show you that with our jet stream first of all the nor'easter developing and deepening across the eastern seaboard meanwhile warm air spreads into the central and southern plains two, please. gives us several nights Nice days of warm but very breezy conditions by early next uh, by the weekend. In fact, we are talking a major storm system moving into the west, and this will bring us hopefully some much needed rain because, well, frankly, we've not seen much at all over the past month. In fact, take a look at this. Days since we've seen a quarter of an inch or more of rainfall, it has been about 37 days, at least for Tulsa County to the south. Other areas about 23 days, and look at north central Oklahoma. It has been 
not far from two months without seeing a quarter of an inch of rain on any given day. So this is just a, a testament to the drought that we're in and the fact right, that we need rain. All right, so 31 dies. On this weekend 31 dies. I know, but yeah, i got to relate stuff to everyone, too. Oklahoma. This was a scene in Sepulpa. Mostly sunny skies, just some of those passing high clouds throughout the day. And that bit of a breeze from the north kept things a little cool, but overall a very pleasant one here in Oklahoma. We've headed on into an evening with quiet weather. Temperatures are falling into the 50s at Tulsa International Airport, 54 degrees with that light northwesterly wind. Most areas, though, cooling off into the 40s and in some Trump cases one. 30s, like in Bartlesville and just now Nawada. 47 in Pryor, 52 degrees in Muskogee. And throughout the region, we're expecting quiet, cool, but uh, calm conditions overnight. Dropping into the 30s area-wide, 39 Tulsa, down below freezing from Grove up to Coffeyville, right. and 34 degrees in Muskogee. During the day tomorrow, winds are becoming very right. light, but they'll eventually switch to the south, and they'll become gusty in the coming days, and that will bring up those temperatures quite a bit from the 60s tomorrow into the 70s as we go on into the future. So beyond this nor'easter to our east, we have high pressure and control and not much happening until that deep system begins to move into the west. And by Wednesday, we'll start to see those gusty south winds forming and temperatures warming into the 70s during the day there. So as we take you through your Wednesday, temperatures in the 30s warming into the 50s by noon and lower to mid 60s uh, to the north and 60s plus maybe near 70. Tulsa to the southwest, 67 your high in Tulsa. And Rapid. after that, on our way to beautiful but gusty winds, uh, in the two, forecast and then straight to the break by Friday into Saturday counting on that moisture moving in by Stand the weekend by two. so could be a wet one but I don't think many folks will complain about those rain chances guys. and dissolve no. No. Your Stand by your break. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all right <laughs> all right thank you Mike, thank you, Mike. and we'll be right back and fade this Roy break excuse me lose your ticker at 11 stand by to the cut in stand by D stand by to transfer what the heck and roll D up on a sound. Campaign 2012. Stand by two. Oklahoma votes. With and is all cute and anime. Along with my pal here, Terry Hood. I'm Scott Thompson. Let's bring you up to date. Ready, on some this three. And Take. we have a defeat for the Vision 2 proposal. Going to both race 45 sides of it, next. The economic development side, which oh would my. have pumped money out at the airport into a number of industries went down by 56% to 44%. And on the other side, the lifestyle enhancement to each community in Tulsa County was going to pick a project Out that two two also next. defeated the quality of Ready life two. proposal. Nose 54% to the yeses, 46%. And take. Tulsa County has a new congressman tonight. He's Jim Bright. Ready or double. Let's take a look at those numbers. Uh, read this District three. 1, take. replacing John Sullivan in Congress. A fairly big win for Jim Bright tonight with 62% of the vote over Democrat John Olson's Red, uh, double straight up. Craig One, Allen picks up. 5% of the vote there. And our Craig Day Take. has been Ready, at the Jim Bryan Stein watch party all Jeez. night, and they've been celebrating out there. Good news for them. And take uh, anime. Yeah, Jim Bridenstine supporters are very happy here tonight. Anime. You know, this is a race that was called quite some time ago, but anime. there's still a very large a crowd here. They're congratulating Bridenstine and, of course, watching the presidential results, anxiously watching those results come in tonight. Bridenstine uh, told me a little earlier that he felt the Ready, large a. turnout of conservative voters in this election uh, in his district would mean good things for his campaign. And it turned out he was right. Rolle, South Tank. I think this is going to be a great night and he uh, for the Republican Party Ready, across our win. state. Take you. Anime. Uh, and that's the case. Uh, Brian Ready Stein with a commanding win here tonight in the Oklahoma's first congressional district. He thanked his volunteers and his family. He said his goals are to repeal oppressive measures forced on small businesses and to uh, repeal Obamacare as well. He says he also plans to work on North American energy independence. We'll have more. Take you double. Ready to. Scott Terry, back to you. Okay, thank you, Craig. Take Jim two. Brian Ready to right. three for race Republican three. Republican rolled over in district and two, take. Eastern mm -hmm. Oklahoma. Where they're sending a Republican All right, back to, Congress, to two, then two and 20 for the double. Mark Wayne Mullen goes All right. to Washington come January with 57% of the vote tonight. We'll skip. And let's go to Lacey Dissolve. Lowry Adam, ready out in Muskogee. She's been following those developments for and us tonight. Lacey? Adam, you already got it. Yeah, Scott and Terry, Sorry. Mark Wayne Mullen is mingling Read. with his supporters right now, thanking them for their support. Read. He addressed the crowd a for the first clean. time as Congressman Mullen just moments ago. He said he is very humbled that so many people believed in him, especially when he announced Ready even A. Though he has zero political experience. He was running for Congress and he won. He explained to us earlier his reason for running and why he thought he could do it. Roll A. So I'll take. So if we 10. don't start stepping up, then we're going to continue to let people next with. run the country that's running into the ground because they're oh, more right, interested in themselves Ready, 20. than they are America first. Thank you. 
Thank you. And Mark Wayne Mullen defeated five Ready Republicans to get here tonight. He says he essentially has won three races just to get to this point, and his work hasn't even begun yet in Washington. He's a plumber and a rancher. He's a small business owner. Mullen Plumbing is his business, and he says most of his experiences as a small business owner dealing with things like government regulation and uh, uh, repealing Obamacare is what led him to run for Congress in the first place. He's mixing with the crowd right now. We're to catch up with him one more time and have the latest at Take 10 o'clock. We'll send it back to you ready guys two. now. Okay, thank you, Lacey. Take two, Six ready for three. On the ballot today, and Oklahoma's for race seven. Take. Mood. They approved every one of them. Here's the first one, 758. Stand by to Limits animate the race eight. increases from uh, the old five to now 3%. That wins big 68%. 759 deals with affirmative action. It would prohibit the use Race of affirmative action next. in three Stand areas, by. employment, education, contracting. Yes, is 59% to 41%. Uh, 762 removes Wait. the governor from the uh, parole process for Stand by for race offenders. 10. Governor Fallon Animate. will not be involved in that anymore. Come 2013, this wins tonight with 59% of the vote. And we do want to point out 66% of the precincts are in, so Stand these by. numbers are not final, but we can tell which way their wind is blowing here. State question 764 that creates a reserve fund Animate. for the Water Resources Board to raise some money. And yes, about the same margin there, 56 to 44. 765 abolishes Race the 12 uh, next. Uh, Department Stand by. of uh, Human Services Commission and gives the authority left. over that agency Animate. to the governor and the legislature. That passes tonight with almost 60% of the vote. And 766 six All right, we're out to two next. Taxation on intangible property D. like patents, client lists, that sort of thing. That's a big yes. 15. 64% by are in favor. And dissolve. You can always find more at news.com. In the meantime, let's Steve go back to Roddy CBS and News and Scott to find out what's going on nationally. And Master, it's all yours in five, four, three, two, one. Fade it, roll your brake. Or don't roll your brake.